Holy crap, guys, what's going on? Look what I got there, right in front of me. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles color classics. Not the black and white, but the colored. You know you love it. The works, volume one. Oh my god, I love this book. I love the the Eastman uh, Lairds. I think I said his last name right. Don't kill me if I didn't. Um, I love the classic Ninja Turtles. Only beef I have with them. Only thing you can tell them apart is their weapons. Because this ain't the cartoon where they had like the little circle in the belt. And had the letters for like L for Leonardo and for Michelangelo. Whatever. Nothing. Like once you read this book. You really gotta pay attention if they're holding stuff. Or they say their names. Because you will not know what turtle you're looking at. <laughs> um, so like it says it's color classics. The originals back in the 80s were black and white. I do have a couple of black and whites. Um, I didn't mind the black and whites uh, book. They were more brutal, uh, which I loved. Um, like, like, how cool is this? It's like a pizza box. The book is like a pizza box. I got that there. Um, it says, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Works Volume 1, collects the first seven issues of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series, plus... The Raphael Micro Series Issues uh, by Kevin and Peter, reproduced in all new full color. This is from IDW. They've been doing the Ninja Turtle books. And um, I haven't read any of the modern um, up-to-date uh, Turtle books. Um, I think I've only stuck with the classics. So, that's cool. The box. And you get the first one. First Ninja Turtles, there we go. Bigger, better, colored. Very cool. Look at that. That's just beautiful. I love it. I'm gonna flip through some of this. Who's a fan of the uh, the 80s cartoon? I was, I got, almost got the whole series. Uh, I've been also watching the Nickelodeon stuff, which is awesome. Um, I'm a big Michelangelo fan. Some people are Leonardo's, some people are Donatello's. I am a Michelangelo. Now, in the cartoon, they were saying that um, Splinter was a mutated, like from uh, Hirokosaki, and he muted to a rat. In this one, he was the pet rat, and he learned uh, Nujitsu from his master. And the shredder kills his master. I'm just going to say that. Master. Shredder has a very, very small part in this. Um, you'll, as you'll see. And the uh, turtles falling in the sewer. Landing in some mutagen. There they are. That's a cool page. Love that page. I think... I think that might be Raphael. Yep. Now, yeah, there's Shredder. Very cool. I think it's only like the first issue, maybe two issues, that they fight Shredder in the Foot Clan. Look at that. That is beautiful. I would love a poster like that. Yeah, so I think it's only like one or two issues that they fight Shredder, and they kind of just kill him off. Like, that's brutal. Leonardo just like slicing right through him. Look at that. And that's the thing about the early turtles. They, they just killed. And they got damaged, and it was beautiful. I say beautiful a lot, too. So there they go. Oh. Leonardo just runs him right through. Runs Shredder right through the gut. And they basically knock him off the roof like in the first movie. Now there was something down there. Was there something down there? Or was it just... Um, oh, it might have just been his plate his um, hand plate. They kind of just toss it and 
that was basically what the trailer was gonna be. It was just gonna be a one-off, you know, nothing more. But then it became like the big villain. Um, they got the Mousers in issue two. Um, I don't know when. Yeah, April is introduced in issue two with the Mousers, and they do have. Um, they do have. That's a cool, cool panel over there. They do have Casey Jones in this one. I think he might be in the Raphael Micro series. Sorry, I'm just skipping through some stuff here. But like, you, can, you can't tell who's who. If they don't have their weapons, you don't know who the hell you're rooting for here. But if I can find Casey Jones here real quick. You know, this is an awesome book to have. Um, I have the first two volumes. I, I need to get more. Where the hell's Casey Jones? No, sir. There he is. Yeah. All in one micro series. And Casey Jones was just freaking crazy in this one, too. He's just beating people to death. Oh, yeah. There's a fight between him and Raph. I think that it looks more beautiful in black, in um, colors. This gives it more like a pop feel. Like the pages actually pop better than the black and whites. Just flipping through the rest. Oh, turtles have guns. <laughs> well, one thing I can say is that their splash panel or splash pages are just awesome. Oh, that's cool. But as for like special stuff, like in the back, you know, how some some of them will have a special stuff. They do have the cover, like the original cover arts. But that's basically it. But if you guys can find this, this is a great book. Um, this cost um, fifty dollars Canadian. I don't know how much it would be in the U.S. But if you guys got the money, I definitely recommend you guys picking this up. It is a great book. Um, and that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Throw me a like, throw me a comment. If you have not subscribed yet, please do, because I am at 94, and I would love to get over 100. Um, and that's it for today's video, guys. All right, I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.